All right, so in the last video, we added device gem for user to sign up and sign in. So in this video, we are going to add authorization to our application. So let's first create a branch. I'm going to call it authorization. All right, so let's start by writing spec. Actually, we have to modify some of the specs we wrote. So let's go to features directory and I'm going to change this user creates post spec. So currently any user can create posts and post doesn't belong to any user. I want my app to behave so that only signed in user can create posts. And so we are going to add, uh, we're going to make some changes to our spec. So in this scenario, we are creating posts successfully. We're going to first sign in our user. And if you check our uh, spec support feature, sign in RB, we created this macro so that we can use in other feature tests. So we're gonna use that here. So we're gonna create user. I'm gonna use this let keyword uh, in our spec. I'm gonna create a user and I'm just going to create a username, sample user, email, example at user.com, password, password, password confirmation. All right, all right, so let's sign in this user in our scenario here. So you're just gonna say sign in user and this user is gonna get, uh, uh, this is lazy evaluated. So when you call user, it's gonna run this block and it's gonna return user object. We're gonna add another scenario uh, scenario non log log in user cannot create post. So if user is not signed in, we're just gonna visit root path oops, and click on write a story and then this is gonna I want that to redirect to current path to equal new user session path just the login page and we just need to add sign in here as well. All right, so I, I just added this sign in user because we're not testing if the user is logged in. You're testing if the body is blank, you cannot publish a post. So, all right, so let's run this test now. Spec features, user creates post. And it's failing, and it's you get three examples, three failures. So let's look at that. On uh, unknown attribute password confirmation, I have an extra A there. Actually, no. I need A here. Right, let's run it. Run it again. And it says uh, unable to find link or button. Write a story story because I misspelled story. Undefined local variable and you use uh, sorry about the tell the typos. Alright so it's saying 
expected user sign in, but you got post slash new because we're not redirecting our user to new user session path. And I want this post, I also want this post to belong to a user. So let's change that part of our spec as well. I'm going to add within. Posts. This is a CSS class I'm going to create. Expect page to have content. Example username. Example user. So what this within uh, function call will do is that it's going to scope this expectation inside this element which has class of posts. So if you have something like div class posts it's just going to um, scope that expectation this these content should be have to be inside this element. So, all right. Okay, so let's run this again. And it's failing, right? So, let's tackle this first. Let's tackle the first scenario. And I'm looking at this, and um, so we first have to add authorization to our posts controller. So let's do that. And I'm going to add authorization before action authenticate user let's run that all right so the third one is passing now so we just need to add the CSS to our view so let's go to, this is redirecting to root, and root is home shell. So app views homes shell, and each post, post title. So we're going to wrap this in a div with a class of posts. Let's run this test again. All right, so expected to find text user, expected example user. So what we want to do here is do something like post had belongs to user, so you can create you you can call user on it and call username to get the user, but we don't have user. If you run this, it's going to complain that post doesn't have a method user, undefined method user. So we need to add association between these two models. So let's do that now. So Rails generate migration, uh, add user ID to posts user references okay all right so let's take a look at this migration file and it adds add reference to posts table user index true foreign key 
looks good. So we're gonna run right db migrate. All right. So now, if you go to let's add that association in our model. So we're just gonna go to user model users and user has many hosts and dependent destroy uh, has many posts dependent destroy that's good open up app models post.rb and we're gonna add belongs to user all right so let's run that spec again and it's gonna undefined method username for nil class so post.user is for some reason getting oh wait so yeah post is not okay so we need to change these posts are not associated with the post so we just need to scope this so here before we do that so let's do that instead of doing that we can do current user post new post params so let's do that undefined method posts for current user posts let's check our model posts oh we haven't saved this file let's make sure that we save this all right that's good let's run that all right now it's passing so let's refactor some of this code if you look at this i don't like this duplication in here it's saying post post getting the user model and then calling username it's pretty obvious if you call it like this the post has a username because post belongs to user and it's clean in our view so let's make this work if you run this test it's going to complain that undefined method username on post but we're going to delegate this call to our user. So we're going to say delegate username to user. That's it. And if you run that, it's passing. It's great. So that's good. Our views looking pretty clean at this point. But we don't want to have this complex... Uh, we don't want we can simplify some of this code here we can make a partial so that we can just say instead of doing all of this we can just say um, render and have posts and this can render uh, post partial for each post object so let's make this work um, if you go we're gonna make a partial file fuse post underscore post dot html dot erb and we just need to add these two lines to our file and we're going to delete this and if we run our test again uh, missing partial post.post.html.erp because I didn't save it Uh, template local variable poster oh wait 
All right, sorry about these little mistakes. Okay, now it's passing, so that's good. So our view looks good, our model looks good, uh, it's clean. Controller, authenticate user. All right, so that's good. So let's run the full spec. And it's all passing, but we have this pending spec, which uh, generator created for us. So let's comment that out or delete that. Well, I'm just, I know that we're gonna need this file, so I'm just gonna comment this or delete that. All right, so let's run that again. Make sure everything is passing. Great. Uh, get status. All right, we modified. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Let's add that and commit that. Add authorization to post creation. Creation. Oh, wait. All right. So that's good. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.